Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sacramento police are still looking for the person that shot a man on the 3600 block of May Street last night. It happened just after 930. The man that was shot is expected to survive and the investigation is ongoing. American lawmakers are raising the alarm about the threat Beijing poses to Taiwan. That coming just days after Taiwan's president met with Representative Kevin McCarthy here in California. China has since started performing military drills in and around the waters off Taiwan. An award-winning bicyclist, Ethan Bowes, died after he was hit by a car at a national park in San Francisco. The U.S. Park Police say the crash happened on Tuesday. Bowes was riding his bike when he was hit. A memorial was put together to remember the cyclist near where the crash happened. California is now asking for money from the federal government in place of the state's salmon fishing season. Data show near record low numbers of the fish coming back to spawning grounds this season. The Pacific Fishery Management Council officially closed the Chinook season from Oregon all the way to the Mexico border on Thursday. Two of the three lawmakers ousted from the Tennessee State House will have a chance to be reinstated early next week. The Nashville City Council and the Shelter County Board of Commissioners are planning to vote to potentially get them back into the State House on Monday. The duo came under fire from Republican colleagues after they took part in gun violence protests in the weeks after a shooting of a Catholic school there. Meanwhile, this video is from a press conference police held in South Carolina after six people were shot on the beach during a high school senior skip day celebration. An 18-year-old and a minor have both been arrested. All of the victims are expected to survive. Around 30 kids were reunited with their families in Ukraine after they were taken to Russia during the early parts of the war. The mission to get them out of Russian hands took a long time and involved moving them from among four countries. Deporting kids to Russia is one of Russia's President Vladimir Putin's alleged war crimes. Play from day three of the Masters was suspended earlier today. Most of the leader board isn't halfway through their third round yet. Today saw even worse rain than the day before. The players will be back on the course tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time with the final round, hoping to start around noon. An 18-year-old is a million dollars richer after his grandmother gave him a winning $10 scratcher ticket on his way to go fishing. The ticket was bought at a gas station in Turlock. The only problem? The young man had to get a photo ID before he could even claim the money. He says he plans to put it towards college. The Pope was on hand to oversee Easter services at the Vatican today. He was not at the traditional Good Friday celebrations at the Colosseum the night before because of the cold weather. He was released from the hospital about a week ago after suffering from a lung infection. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.